Before we get into the video, I would just like to announce that the Rick and Morty shirt is officially back. Welcome. So as usual, I meant to film this video at like 4 o'clock right after school. However, it is currently 9.41. For some reason, I feel like this camera is crooked. I can't tell if my tripod is crooked or the camera is crooked, so... Hang on, I'm being really indecisive with the camera angle. Now this is really crooked. So I know it's considered easy YouTuber content, but they're genuinely fun videos to film and I personally enjoy watching Q and A's as a YouTuber. I just kind of gave away what I was doing, but we're doing a Q and A. So I asked on Instagram for questions and the little like question sticker thing. Go follow me on Instagram at Enzo Antonio with three eyes. I swear this is actually crooked. I'm not allowing myself to touch the camera anymore because then this whole video is just going to be me adjusting the camera. So there's actually kind of a fun twist to this video and that's that I haven't seen the questions yet so you get like a genuine reaction. It's not really that fun of a twist but let me scroll down to the bottom. When was the last time you tried shifting to the shallows? So I announced like a day after I posted my last shifting video that I was taking a break for about a week. It ended up being a bit longer than I anticipated and it lasted like 10 days or something. I don't know, but I'm trying to shift again tonight and I'm really excited and I have a good feeling and I'm just gonna let the universe decide for me, so yeah. What's your dream college? I know I've definitely said this before, probably in another Q&A, which let's talk about the fact that like repetitive my Q&As are. It's fine though. My dream school is either film school at UCLA or NYU. However, I think we need to be realistic here and realize that that's not happening, but we might as well try and have an open mindset about it. What's your Hogwarts house? I'm in Hufflepuff. Why are you so desperate to shift to the shallows? That's a question I ask myself every day. I think it's just been kind of like the first place that I want to shift. I'm confident that I'll- My parents are watching a movie in the other room. The surround sound is so loud. So that's what that noise is if you can hear it, but I kind of declared the shallows it's like the first place I was going to try to shift and I'm confident that I'll be able to shift at some point and then be really good at it and go to a ton of other places. So I was like, okay, I'll just start off with the shallows and then work my way to other places from there. I feel like if this is the first video that somebody's seeing of me, they're going to be really confused and they're going to be like, what are you talking about? Somebody says, when are you going to collab with Monique again? So technically how collabs work is there's supposed to be a video for both channels. And we tried filming the video for her channel back in like December, like three times, but then technical difficulties came and it just like wasn't able to be salvaged and posted but once we get like technology issues worked out we're gonna try to film some sort of video for her channel on my channel though i mean it hasn't been something that i'm like actively planning on doing but like i'm so down to do another collab okay i really like this question it says when you eat a taco do you tilt your head to the left or right i'm trying to think about this so if i have a taco okay this is just awkward i guess i just dropped my phone i guess i tilt my Sorry, I have to interrupt myself real quick. I have like a really good screen protector on my phone and like a case that like literally is apparently like guaranteed to not crack from like 10 feet or six feet or something. And it usually works really good when I drop it. I mean, I drop my phone sometimes. I don't even know like what happened or like when I dropped it when this happened. So basically the one place that isn't protected is my camera. I mean, I guess it is protected by the case, but it's like still kind of open to society. Moral of the story, there's like a small little crack in the camera. And now when I try to take a picture like not zoomed in, there's this like random white stripe, which is really annoying, but it's fine. Some people literally like drop their phone and like crack their screen protector or something and then just get a complete new phone. Like, I just don't understand how that works. What do people at school think of your YouTube channel? So I transferred schools this year, as I've said many times on my channel before. I went to private school in seventh grade and then transferred to public for eighth grade. And the private school that I went to before was like really small. So it was definitely like a change going to a bigger school. I don't even know what that has to do with the question. So I don't know why I'm giving my entire life story right now. When the school year first started, I had like 500 subscribers and I was like, okay, you're gonna keep your channel on the download the download on the download like you want to actually try to make some friends but then like a few people like found out or something not many people knew at first but then when i kind of like blew up i think it was and then there's like dumb like t pages that they have for middle school one of them posted like oh is this new kid famous because someone like submitted t to the account it's so it's the most middle school thing ever but i mean like i'm personally like proud of my videos i would prefer people from school like didn't watch them because like that is embarrassing obviously however like if you do want to make fun of me like I'll take your ad revenue. That sounded so bratty, but like, anyway, next question. How do you find your clothing inspo? Also, where do you shop for clothes? Uh, I'm obviously gonna say Pinterest. Pinterest is just like the king of all apps. You can find an inspo for like so many different things, like food inspo, clothing inspo, 
etc. And then where I shop to get my clothes. A majority of my clothing is thrifted, but if we're talking like retail stores, I really like Zoomies. Like their shipping is really fast too. And then I do own a few stuff from like Romway or Romway or whatever it's called, but I ordered it a few months ago. I mean, I'm obviously not gonna throw it away now because like I already have it and that'd just be like a waste, but I definitely don't plan on shopping from there again just because like at the time I didn't really realize like what happened for those clothes to be made and that's something that I don't really want to support. And even if it is cheap and even if it is like fast fashion or whatever they call it, I really like American Eagle. I think they have good jeans. Well, I just like forget every other store that existed. Uh, I really like the clothes from Urban Outfitters, but I don't own anything from there. But I went to Urban Outfitters like a few months ago and like I really like the stuff that they have there But it's so expensive their prices are like ridiculous and like it's like at least $34 for a shirt And I found this like corduroy button-up and corduroy pants, but it was like $90 and I'm like no. I found corduroy pants at a thrift store for $3. Like, somebody said, why are you doing a Q&A? Because I'm out of ideas, and also, I mean, I had another idea that I wanted to film, but it, like, took up a lot of energy, and I genuinely just need to, like, tell myself that, okay, you're gonna film this video this afternoon, even if you're too lazy to do it, like, just do it. Because I was just, like, watching TikTok for, like, two hours in my bed, and then I was just like, you know what, fine, I'll film this Q&A. And, like, the idea of filming the Q&A to me seemed like such, like, hard work. It's not hard work. But now I'm just, like, sitting here, and it's actually, like, therapeutic to just, like, talk to a camera. Wow, I am that lonely, but yeah. Are you going to start posting shifting videos again soon? People are in high demand for shifting content, I understand. Since my last shifting video, I've posted three non-shifting videos. And like, I personally like making shifting videos, but I don't wanna like run out of ideas so quickly, so I try to like space them out. And also I don't wanna become like a one trick, what is it, a one trick pony? I don't wanna just be like annoying and be like, okay, shifting is getting views, so I'm just gonna make only shifting. No, I'm gonna continue to make the content I made before I started making shifting videos and continue to make shifting because I actually enjoy making shifting videos. But I'm just gonna kinda like rant for a second I do find it quite annoying when like I just posted like a vlog today and then there's like comments that are like oh when are you gonna post your next shifting video no that actually doesn't bother me that much but I think it's like literally one time I went like two weeks without posting a shifting video and then I posted one and one of the comments was like wow you never post but you posted today finally I post twice a week is that not enough for you like I'm literally working my butt off I mean I really don't care if you don't watch my non shifting videos but like at least don't like disregard them and pretend they don't exist sorry that was just a little rant pineapple and pizza a yes or no. This is coming from an Italian, but if it's done right, yes. But I think if you do mess up pineapple on pizza, you're screwed. How many pillows do you sleep with? I sleep with two. I have one like rock solid memory foam pillow and then I have like a my pillow. My pillows are actually good. Like when I first got it, I didn't understand all the hype about it, but then now I really like it because it's not like too soft, but it's also not like rock solid. My rock solid pillow, I use it for like when I can't fall asleep and I just want to like sit there and like think. Also the rock solid one gets like colder quicker and then I can flip it around. Cold pillows. I mean, I'm sure they have these, but they need to make like electrical cold pillows. Whenever you see those TikToks where people are like pranking you or something and people comment something like, I hope your pillow is warm for you at night. I think that's honestly one of the most offensive things to say to somebody because like not having a cold pillow, it will ruin your night. Has the fact that you got followers made it harder to find real friends? I mean, I don't think I'm at like the level yet. I'm kidding, that sounds so like self-absorbed and cocky. I don't think I'm at the level yet where people are like only in it just to use me. But I mean, when someone would rather like film a video with me than just hang out, I feel like sometimes I'm like, okay, well, do you want to hang out because me or like because Enzo Antonio? Once again, it sounded super cocky, but I'm just trying to open up about my feelings here. Anyway, I mean, I feel like it hasn't gone that bad though, so I don't know. Also, we're still in a pandemic, so I feel like we're all kind of lonely right now. Do you have a girlfriend? No, I'm very single, like very single. I have no interest in anyone right now. Like I genuinely taught myself to like not like people. Like I just hate people, I hate people. I'm really just being dramatic and like exaggerating. But what I taught myself is that if you hate everyone, then no one can let you down. I don't know how I even made this mistake, but the next question is what's your current favorite song? I just like read it in my head on the screen and then like went straight to my Spotify and never said it out loud. So that's the question, FYI. I really like this one song right now called A Softer Texture by Food for Clouds. I'll play a snippet of it, but also try not to get copyrighted challenge. And I'll give you a bonus song because I'm feeling nice. Next song is The Physical Attractions by The Symposium. It's a cool name. 
Oh, of course, since I left the Instagram map, it like ruined my progress of like scrolling down and everything. Favorite Emma Chamberlain video? I love this question. So I feel like Emma Chamberlain has had different eras, so I need to pick. For her like recent past blonde era where she was like, you know, vlogging and everything, and basically 2020, her video every day is the same. It's just like something about it. It's like a 25 minute vlog. Something about that video is so like relaxing and comforting. And like, I love her vlogs because she does the same thing every day, but like it's still so entertaining and keeps getting more and more entertaining. Another one of my favorite videos is I love the one where she spends 24 hours on her balcony. Her preparing for Coachella vlog, 24 hours without a phone are all good ones. Favorite Lana Del Rey album, NFR. I think that album is honestly probably my favorite album. It's for sure one of my favorite albums. I don't know if it's like the number one favorite album. What keeps you motivated to shift? YouTube. I feel like it's also pretty crappy of me as I guess like a shifting YouTuber to just be like, thanks for the support guys with shifting and everything, but I'm quitting. So I'm kind of forced to continue to shift, but I also like really want to do it. So I'm not really being forced. Do you believe in marriage? I'm not really sure what this question means, but I also kind of know what you mean. The concept of getting married just doesn't sit right to me. Like think about how creepy it was. I didn't come up with this theory. It's like an Instagram like meme, but it's like, how creepy is it? Like who invented marriage? Like did someone just like wake up and be like, you know what? I love this person so much. I'm gonna get the government involved so that they like can't leave. Like it's kind of a weird concept. And also like the thought of committing to like one person is just like, <clears throat> like, I don't know. But I mean, I am young. Is it hard to balance school and YouTube? Yes, there are many times where I have to switch between the Google Meet tab and the Adobe Premiere Pro tab to edit, but I still focus on school with my mom who's watching. But yeah, it is genuinely kind of hard. There's also nights where I'm just like, like, yeah, I'm gonna edit instead of doing my homework. I mean, but if you think about it, my homework takes so much like less time. Like it actually takes me a good 10 hours. No, probably more than that. Like, 10 plus hours to edit each video. But for my homework, it takes like max an hour. Do you have a Valentine? <laughs> Then this person said, I'm guessing not. Oh, well, I mean, you guessed right though, so I can't really be like offended by that. Like, I don't care that I have a Valentine. That, I mean, wait, no, I don't have a Valentine. I don't care that I don't have a Valentine. So yeah, I think Valentine's is a stupid holiday. No offense to anyone who's like really into Valentine's Day, but like, I don't know. I feel like it's just like a knockoff Thanksgiving. Stranger Things or Riverdale? I actually do really like both shows. Well, Riverdale is kind of two different shows. There's season one and two of Riverdale. Then there's season three. And then season four got better, and then season five is like premiering on the CW now, but I'm gonna wait till it's on Netflix because I missed the premiere. But probably Stranger Things. Stranger Things season three is the best. I'm excited for season four. What's your zodiac sign? I'm a Taurus. And a bonus question that I'm throwing in there, do I match the characteristics of a Taurus? Absolutely, I'm very much a Taurus. Why is everyone asking if I have a Valentine? Somebody asked, have I fixed my photo wall? I don't think I need to answer this question with words. I will just show you. Anyways, back to the Q&A corner. I think we should officially call this the Q&A corner. Even though hopefully I do, I mean, what am I saying? Even though hopefully I come up with more video ideas and actually not just film Q&As and try to think of other ideas. What's something you wish you could do to impress people? One, not embarrass myself, and two, I feel like I make the most awkward facial expressions in public. Thankfully I have like a mask now to like kind of cover that up, but I feel like I also have a really bad side profile, but I think we like don't turn this into a therapy session. Actually, this kind of is a therapy session though. Okay, I'm gonna do like four more questions and then I'll skedaddle out of here. Why did you dye your hair? I've thought about it. I'm making a TikTok talk soon about like rating my hair colors because I think that'd be funny. I could have already posted it by the time this video goes up, so go check my TikTok at Enzontonio with three eyes. But during just 2020, I've had just plain brown hair, brown hair with red highlights. Then my hair got like really red. And then I had like pink hair for like two days because I still had red highlights in my hair, but then I tried to bleach my hair and the bleach cut on to the highlights and then made my hair look pink. And then I tried to like tone down the color of it. And then I had like orange, like Weasley hair. Then my hair was like chunks of orange and like blonde. I mean, technically I dyed my hair black in 2021, but it was like January. Yeah, then I just dyed it all black. I will be sticking with this color for a long time though. Okay, last question. What would you do differently if nobody would judge you? So many things. Like, I think I would like dress differently. Not dress differently, but like make bolder choices. And then I know there's so many things that I would definitely do if like nobody would judge me, but I mean, honestly, just be myself. Anyway, that's the last question. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, also give it a thumbs up. I post every Tuesday and Friday, so I'll see you next Friday for another amazing video. Um, I actually do post every Tuesday and Friday. Fun fact, I just said that. But yeah, I don't just post shifting videos also. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, also give it a thumbs up. Did I already say that? I don't know. Yes, you did. Literally comment down below whatever. Like, whatever you want to say is fine. With that being said, I'm out of here. Well, I'm actually not. After I finish this outro, I'm going to take thumbnail pictures. But I'll see you on Friday. <laughs>